down the harass on both ends. And now, uh, you know, it's just, uh, frankly, it's a close game, even game. Hard to say anybody's yeah. way, way ahead of the other guy. But, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm impressed with Tarson's ability to deal with the attack on both fronts. Play is putting up two more additional factories. It's really an absolute mirror so far. Even Astralic right now is researching siege mode, which I do believe that uh, is something that Tarsum is not doing. So Astralic stopped actually making uh, with uh, at least from the at least from this reactor. Switch it up right now with a starport. We are going to see a reactor on. No, actually it was one with Tech Lab. So perhaps a very very uh, tank heavy play right now by Astralic. And uh, we're seeing on production just a lot of Vikings coming out of uh, at Astralic. So he really wants to kind of control the skies. It's really important in TVT that air dominance. We still have this Raven over here with that uh, Auditor. The Auditor which lasts forever, by the way, like three minutes. That's insane. Or is it? Yeah, it is exactly three minutes. Right now, Helene is getting a couple of shots off, but Trelloc will be able to uh, perhaps get his uh, expand in time, though. Nevertheless, Auditor being dropped now as well. One Helene almost by the nose. Is Trelloc going to land that Viking and get one hit off? That would be a good move. Man, you know, Tarson's getting the better of these engagements. Oh, wow! Helene's in the main. Was that a drop? Yes. Look at so many SEVs are going to go down here. Oh my god, 28 workers killed. The, the, the economy of Strelok has just been devastated. Matter of fact, does fall down in the end, and Helios did fall down, but so many SCVs went down. 28 SCVs so far throughout the entire process. Excellent job right there by Tarson, uh, <laughs> drifting away the attention from Strelok, poking a little bit around with the uh, Helios, making Strelok think that that's the only thing he had to worry about, meanwhile dropping a couple of Helios in the main. Awesome play right there by Tarson. Yeah, absolutely. Just, I mean... I, I was I was kind of uh, doting on on Strelik for being so good at the multi prong harass and Tarson there making it work extremely well catching Strelik way off guard getting a lot of SCV kills and now you know the story is really in the supply count 80 supply for Tarson to the 44 of Strelik the uh, this game these players are really starting to separate one Helian drop can just completely switch his mess up around I mean it's been cha it's changed so much ever since Helian's got this popular and Helian's is such an effective unit to arrest we're gonna see three Vikings right now they're gonna perhaps go for the little exchange right away again a couple of free shots off very good job right there by Strelok now perhaps he might actually be able to win this little Viking while point defense zone is dropped right now Strelok is gonna drop a point defense zone on his side do we have a couple of Marines no we don't have a single Marine so Strelok should be able to win this exchange in the long run yeah, absolutely. Uh, Strelok going to knock out the Raven and the, and the Vikings, but I, I have to wonder, you know, to what end is, is it really going to matter as Tarson is moving across the map with a very large force, and I just don't know if Strelok's going to be able to field the units he needs to defend it. So many Hellions. We have 15 Hellions on the field right now for Tarson. We do have one bench, though, which means that push is eventually going to stop. We have more and more Vikings uh, over here. And, like, one Viking more was popping out for Tarson, but gets taken out instantly. What is Tarson going to do with these Hellions? Nothing as of yet. Our turret getting dropped as well. Didn't, didn't get actually he did get one SCV kill, I believe. So good job so far by Strelok, really putting uh, Tarzan on the back feet right now, forcing him to defend his base, takes out one more heli, and look at these Vikings, wow, man. Wow, that's awesome, man. So Strelok really trying to battle his way back into this game. I like the decision from Tarzan to throw down the armor. He's going to try to get a Thor out, and that's going to force these Vikings to stop just camping right over the top of his starport. Uh, but right now, man, Strelok yeah. is just dominating the skies. The problem is all the SCVs he lost to that Hellion harass. Meanwhile, big, big Hellion chase over here on the ground. Strelok got a couple of really good shots off, actually doing more than decent over here. We have one tank frame as well. Supply is ex incredible close, which means it's actually a lot better for Strelok. We still have that Benchy as well. This Benchy could actually be MVP with those three Vikings still alive, forcing Tarzan not to be able to have any anti-air. Well, this is insane. Will Strelok be able to do the impossible and win this game on 17 SCVs? Wow, that would absolutely blow my mind. There, there was a turret completed in the natural for Tarson, so that Banshee can't really yeah. push in there, but he's now flying into the main base. Oh no, another turret! And the Banshee taking so much damage, not quite going to fall. So very nearly a big misstep from Strelok, but he's still doing lots of damage with that Banshee. Well, Banshee did fall down. I'm not sure to what, to what? another miss show from Mr. Turret after all? I, I did saw sure one shot going up, but I thought it was on the Raven. Uh, nevertheless, we have the point defense run, and right now Tarson will finally be able to clear this up. I kind of missed that one. Yeah, I'm, I'm wondering what happened there myself. But uh, anyway, so I'm really impressed at Strelok's ability to stick around here. Tarson is sieged up. He's got a nice defensive position. It's going to be incredibly hard for Strelok to attack into that. It looks like he might be thinking about it, though, as he's got another Banshee out, and he's posturing up right outside the natural expansion. Maybe it was a Marine. Yeah. After all, uh, the Marine does uh, bite the dust in the end. Vikings coming in, but once again, the superior Viking number for Strelok saves the day for now. Well, if we take a look at the income tab once again, it's still 24 SCVs against 48. Strelok is doing an excellent job, though, and putting so much pressure in Tarzan's main base. That's really, really good, but is it going to be enough? He's in such an economical disadvantage. We have a big, big Hellion exchange going on. Huge exchange in the, in the natural expansion of Tarzan, and he's going to kill He's going to kill one siege tank, but the rest are getting just mass repaired. If those Hellions would just move closer, they could kill the SCVs. Banshee's still doing a lot of work in the main base, but a Thor is now out. 
that he's going to be able to usher out this uh, this Banshee and the Viking of uh, oh, no. oh no! Huge volleys coming from the Hellions in the natural expansion of Tarzan. He doesn't even see it. Tarzan. So many SCVs are getting ravaged. Stratok managed to almost kill 20 SCVs out there, 24 throughout the entire game, but he already killed a few. Wow, this Benji actually survived that tour with 6 HP. That's a quite good job. I can't believe how Stratok is finding his way back into the game. That's just super, super impressive. He's still 9 SCVs down, so it's, it's far from looking good, but that he's been able to hang in there for so long, that's remarkable. Well, you know, the fact that he lost all those SCVs does mean that he's got, he's got money longer. He's still mining in yeah. his main. Right now, uh, right now Tarsen's wow. just on one mining base, so... Well, yeah. I, he's still got a little bit left there, but he's thinning Ooh. rapidly. Stratok dropped a lot of mules uh, on his main, as it seems. Now, actually, two Hellions from Tarzan entering this uh, mineral line. Hellion was all over again. A nice shots right there by Stratok. You managed to take out these two Hellions. Tarzan killed once again three SUVs, though, and yeah, that matters a lot in this phase of the game. Actually, more than that. He was at 34, so uh, I guess five. Wow, wow, yeah. So, uh, I feel like Tarzan maybe has finally stabilized a little bit. He's got his yeah. third command center finishing, and uh, his macro really starting to... Well, with that third base, if he can secure that third base, he's going to be in huge, huge, huge position. He's just been mining so much more than uh, the Stralok did on the other side, so it's been a real while. It's about time that actually Tarzan is getting into an advantage position. Now we do see him floating over that third command center. We have no third command center as of yet for Stralok. Uh, he's going to take the refineries right now, this expand. That's surprising as well, because I'm not sure. Well, he's a little on gas, so it does make sense. More and more Helios coming out of this factory. He's researching a siege mode, I think, once again, because I think he did that before, no? Oh, look at that. Strelok yes. ninjing and expansion up at the top of the map. Oh, oh, and Tarson just scouts it. He's like, sup, son? I really <laughs> think the reason Strelok's been able to stick around for so long is because he's able to control the skies in, in, in such a big way. But but uh, he's kind of stopped his Viking production, so now uh, Tarson should be able to take back that map control. Hellion drop is on the way. The mineral is so thin in the main for Tarson. Uh, th these Hellions could get quite a few SCV kills. The Medifac is coming in right now. Let's see how much damage they were really able to do. We, don't, we have one Medifac over there. I mean, uh, one uh, Mr. Third and uh, Vikings as well. But the, nevertheless, the, Vi the Hellions do get landed. Oh, well. wow. <laughs> so many Vikings. Hellions getting dealt with yeah. promptly. Maybe a couple SCVs going down, but there really wasn't a whole lot there to kill. Mm -hmm. So um, not the most cost-effective harass in the world. No, it's, uh, it's not a very successful drop. I had a hard time uh, stringing one sentence over there together. It's been a while. We've been casting a lot of best trees on the road, but nevertheless, still going strong. Always going strong, yeah. Roddy. So a single Hellion is shutting down this expansion from Strelok. He's got to decide whether or not he wants to go deal with that or if he wants to do something about the third base that's gone up for Tarson. Uh, yeah. And look at that. Uh, I'm oh. not sure about this expansion for Strelok. I mean, it was nice to try to get a Ninja expansion, but Tarson scouted it straight away. And in that moment, I feel perhaps it was just worth to cancel it because even when it's up, it's going to be so easy for, for Tarson to, deal that, uh, to uh, drop that one. Meanwhile, he gets three free Hellions. Uh, that's nice right there with Stratok. Tartan still slightly ahead supply-wise, but most of that is SUVs. Well, okay, only six SUVs ahead, so actually of his army right now sieging up over here by Stratok. We have those stores. Tartan is so good in absorbing damage, but is it going to be enough? Yeah, the Viking count really favoring Tarson here, and I think he can just inch closer and closer to his opponent, and he's not going to be able to, or I'm sorry, Strelok's not going to be able to spot. Oh, no, more Hellion harass, and the third base now, a lot of SCV kills going down wow, for Strelok. 15. Whoa, 15 kills on those two Hellions. That's, that's, uh, does that put the game even economically? Pretty much. Strelok yeah. even one wow. SCV ahead right now. Compared to Tarson, and he's going to have that big, big uh, siege contact. A siege tank container over here, which I don't really see how Tarzan is going to be able to break it anytime soon. If he wants to, then I'd say every second you waste is probably a second where one more additional tank is coming in. So, uh, wow, actually Stralok is uh, moving forward right now. He's going to try to siege up near the edge. That's an excellent move, I'd say. Uh, if he can shut down the production of his opponent, this, this could very well be game ending. Tarzan has very intelligently built everything far enough back, though, that I don't think the siege tanks can reach the production. No, they... In uh, uh, the just factory. barely out of range. As Hellions pop out from that top factory, though, they, they will get shelled there. Look at that Vikings kind of shutting down that spot there. I do feel like Tarson has the better yeah. Viking count. Look, oh, the Thor's going to shell all the Vikings. And look at this. Tarson just going to attack right into Strelok. The Thor's do such a good job of soaking up tank fire because they don't actually take splash damage. Uh -huh. And look at this. Tarson is going to just attack straight through Strelok. He's going to break this contain. And now Tarson even getting Hellions up in that top expansion. Uh, he's looking really strong here, Rotterdam. Definitely. Also move right there by Tarzan, reading the situation well, realizing that he might be able to break it after all. Tors did an amazing job soaking up the damage, also killing those Vikings. Now we do see this Hellion exchange finally go around. Tarzan managed to win that one. Three, 
uh, three against one, 49 SUVs against 49 SUVs, so completely even right there, but Tarson is still 36 supply. Oh yeah, commanding supply lead now for Tarson, and the other thing is he's able to actually mine on his oh. third base, and uh, and, and Strelak just, it, he can't. Like you said, uh, Strelak yeah. has expanded too far away from, from the rest of his stuff, so he can't really defend this. So SUVs that are built here just die, mules that are dropped here just get shut down, and look at this, Strelak having to bring his whole army back just to keep that command center alive from Hellion Harass. Yeah. I didn't really get it at all. After it got scouted, I just don't think it was worth it anymore. It's so hard to defend this. Uh, Tarsum can just drop it all over again, and that's so far exactly what has been happening. Four Hellions arrived from Strelago. He will be able to clear it up, but the damage has been dealt already. He killed a couple of mules, killed an SCV here and there, and more importantly, he just <laughs> continually makes sure that Strelago is not efficiently mining from this base. Man, 50 supply lead for Tarsum. Tarsum looking so strong here. This has been such a back-and-forth game. Strelago doing such a good job of catching back up, but then falling behind again by losing that whole army. Man, did you see the siege tank numbers yeah. for Tarsum? Oh my goodness. Take a look at the unit counter tab. We have six Hellions on the field for Strelok, seven Vikings and six tanks. Well, we have 11 tanks for Tarsum, <laughs> six Vikings as well, so that's very close. And then we have those three additional Thors, and yeah, well, that the numbers said it all. The Thor is so good because it doesn't actually splash. It's too big of a unit, so if a, yeah. if a siege tank shoots a Thor, it doesn't deal damage to the surrounding units, uh, which is exactly how Tarsum was able to break that initial siege tank. Contain. Now he is moving up through the center of the map, and he might catch a few of the units of Strelok out of position. Strelok, like, quickly running back to his natural. Oh no, these tanks are going to get caught on siege, and I feel like Tarsum's in a, oh my gosh, attacking into so many tanks, though, and the Thors are way behind, so Strelok dealing a lot of damage back to his opponent. Yeah, so many tanks still on the field. Four Tarsum, Strelok says GG well played, and Tarsum wow. takes the first map. Over here in I wasn't so sure about attacking into the siege tanks like that, especially with the Thors behind, but uh, Tarsen just had so much stuff and Strelok being forced to tap out there. What a back and forth game there, Roddy. I yeah. really felt like uh, Strelok was just dead. It was almost over and Strelok did such an excellent job in fighting himself back into the game. But after all, I mean, it wasn't so much about what Tarsen had on that moment. It's just more that he's been mining so much more for yeah. such a long time. And sure, he lost a unit here or there. Strelok managed to uh, it, it kick got off really, unit. really close, man. Those yeah. Vikings parked right over the star port. There was really, really no way for, uh, for Tarsen to take back that air supremacy. But he did finally get a Thor out, and that was able to eventually usher those those units out of his base and and once that happened once he was able to take back the skies the game kind of came back in his favor yeah and i think also after all a big mistake by Strada going for that third expand in the position that it was yeah that was that was really i'm sure i mean you have to try something certainly when you're behind so i'm not going to say like oh it was a big blunder by Strada because it was not he tried something but yeah it just didn't work out in the long yeah, run yeah expand where your army is if you want to take a big risk like that take a gold base <laughs> you know I mean, I, that, that makes more sense in my mind, at yeah. least. Certainly, if you have mules, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, man. It's a beautiful race.